Let's apply what we just learned by opening up the main activity.java file within our project. We're going to take this networking code snippet and move it over to its own async task so it runs on a background thread. The task is going to be defined within this fragment class. But speaking of which, it's actually still called placeholder fragment. Let's do a little bit of refactoring now by giving it a real name. Let's call it forecast fragment. And then you can update it in other appropriate places as well. We can also move forecast fragment into its own file. That way, the main activity won't get so long and cumbersome. Within forecast fragment, we should define a new inner class called fetch weather task, which extends from async task. And then you can move the networking code snippet here. After you make the changes and run your app, it should look something like this. There really should be no difference, except it doesn't crash now. In the next step, we'll add code to execute the task, and later in the lesson, we'll do JSON parsing and updating the UI. In the meantime, though, make these initial changes to your code.